Hey guys, it's Hafiz. Today I'm going to show you guys how to change uh, this uh, antifreeze line. It's a very common issue with the Freightliner Cascadia trucks, and most of the time these lines they break. But uh, as you can see, this line have uh, 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 the link going to the uh, filter. Basically, it's a fuel filter, and the new design they made it they discontinue that so you don't see that uh, line that you see over there in the new line so I bought this from Freelander it's like a hundred twenty dollars something and uh, they are giving this plug with this line that you have to put on top of this just to block this line so when you Put this new line replace with this one and uh, you have to block this with this plug and I'm just going to show you how you can do that yourself it's uh, like a, an hour to two hour job approximate if you do that uh, yourself and uh, these lines they mostly crack or break from uh, from this point and sometimes from here so it's very common you're gonna lose some antifreeze and uh, I'm gonna show you how we can fix it so the reason why they discontinue this line is because uh, uh, the fuel fr from the filters actually can transfer from there to here if the seal is broken or something uh, this is just to cool down the fuel filter system but uh, it fails so they replace this uh, line with a new one so sometime if the seal breaks you're gonna see the antifreeze into your uh, uh, you're gonna see fuel in your antifreeze tanks so uh, that's gonna be a problem or you're gonna see water in your uh, in your fuel tanks and uh, it could be a problem on both sides you can have an antifreeze in your fuel tanks or you can have a, a fuel in your antifreeze so that's why they discontinue this line and they replace it with this one and uh, it's better that if you have this kind of uh, line on your truck you better replace it with the new one or wait if you have that problem you already know uh, what to do and why uh, you're gonna have uh, water in your fuel tanks before you open the line make sure all the antifreeze is uh, drained out from the radiator and uh, it's very easy to disconnect this line and uh, you just need a screwdriver and pull that out you're gonna have a lot of antifreeze I'm using uh, uh, this method I'm just draining it directly from there or you can take that uh, line uh, break it and put that in the bucket but this method is not recommended so please uh, drain all of the antifreeze from the radiator before you open this line So the new line as you can see is so easy to replace that uh, all you need is just to put these two screws on, these two screws and then just run a line and as you can see there is just one hook right here, you have to pull this hook and push that in and push that down and it should be locked. And this pipe is a uh, flexible it's like a rubber pipe right here and the rest of the pipe is uh, metal so they upgraded it because it was a very common problem and the clamps they were actually uh, destroying these lines the metal clamps so now they have a built-in uh, 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 like whatever the metal piece is and it's not actually going to damage it uh, with the vibration to the pipe so they make it a uh, good uh, solid pipe and as you can see on this line there's a, a rubber pipe and the same thing it's like a piece of plastic it's a plastic line see
all right so we're going to run a line and uh, as you can see there's a bolt right here I'm matching that up and then this line goes right there next to that so that's a line and then this end <coughs> is gonna be aligned to this one and this bolt is going to align to this bolt but the problem is that uh, you can't put that line in because this thing is blocking it and I can't reach to the point so I need to remove these bolts As you can see the line is connected and uh, uh, the plug is connected on a oil control module side the, the lug nuts are secured uh, you can change the line without removing these uh, nuts and the line is connected on the air compressor side so at this point you can see this line is connected to the oil, fuel, and air all together, even the antifreeze. So if this line have an issue or any of these components have issues, there's going to be uh, water in the tank or uh, diesel in the antifreeze. And you can have some mixer in the engine oil too. So it's a very, very important line. Once you fill up the antifreeze, run the engine for a few minutes and uh, you may have to add uh, a little bit more antifreeze after you run the truck. And uh, as you can see, there's no leak. I hope this video helps you guys and uh, please subscribe the channel, like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have a nice day.